I recently upgraded to Adobe Premiere Elements 14 and I've also bought a QMAX action cam which has very wide angle lens uh, so you get quite a bit of distortion on it and I wanted to find a way to actually reduce some of the distortion and I'll just play the clips I've got to show here so you can see what I mean obviously in the swimming pool it doesn't really have curved edges like this it's all straight so I wanted a way to make it look a bit more realistic the, the camera is great if you're just out and about filming uh, as soon as you get straight lines in then it does tend to make everything look like barrels so in Premiere Elements you don't actually have lens correction I've heard that in Premiere Elements Pro then you actually have various profiles for various lenses which will do it automatically and there isn't actually a, a lens correction facility in this there's only other tools which you can try and use to uh, get around it what I found to use is lens distortion which is actually I think meant to distort normal um, video footage to create various effects but uh, you can use it to actually correct lenses a bit as well so we'll have a go at uh, correcting some so the first clip here swimming pool we go to this select lens distortion and drag it across and drop it onto the video clip and while I'm at it I'll do the same for the for the other one okay now so we can work on this one so in applied effects here you've got lens distortion and the only thing we're going to use here is curvature and if we move it across you can see that it starts to straighten out it does mean it zooms in and you lose some of the of the frame so if you really need what's around the edge then perhaps you have to live with the distortion so it's just a matter of playing around until the lines look relatively straight that looks pretty good at minus 29 perhaps slightly it's a little bit curves behind the dog there perhaps 30 is better no 30 is definitely not better Twenty nine is probably about as good as we can get from that. Try twenty. No, I think twenty nine is about it. Okay, try the other clip. Open up applied effects. Move the cursor. So you, on this one, you can see at the beginning we've got the pergola, and at the end the, the tiled floor. So we'll try and work on this. So again, drag the curvature pointer over. I would say to about the same sort of point. 27 is not quite enough. 28, no, we'll try 29. I think that's gone slightly the other way. 28 maybe. Yep, I think that's that's about it so if we run through that now you'll see that the uh, the pergola looks a lot straighter rather than being bent and if we go a bit further certainly the tiles now look like they're square rather than uh, being a strange shape Actually, I'll, I'll just give it a quick render because it's stuttering at the moment. I'll probably cut there and come back because that's going to take a minute or two. All right, well, it has finally rendered. It took about five minutes, actually, despite this being a new, fairly quick desktop. Anyway, so I'll show you a brief clip now. As you can see, it's much straighter there. 
in fact what I'll do I think is uh, I'll show you both clips side by side the before and after so you can actually see how it's uh, how it's changed uh, there we are I think you'll agree it looks better when you've got the straight lines uh, rather than the curved lines but as I said you can tell that you lose some of the image around the periphery but there isn't much you can do about that okay I hope you found this useful uh, watch out for other tips and what have you on Premiere Elements as I discover them please subscribe click like or make any comments thanks for watching bye bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>